contacting is for all kinds of people with all types of budgets be they on a really limited budget and they can only spend a couple of hundred quid on all of their kit for the first times out that's the detector spade pouch and now pointer all for a couple of hundred quid well and obviously you've got all the ones in between spend 500 quid thereabouts up to two grand these days easy well i have got a pointer that i'm going to test out that uh Kuwait sent me um and we're going to see whether it's whether and these retail for 40 pound the waterproof they've got the gauge on it there they've got the spotlight uh these retail for 40 pound let's see what the difference is between my garrett carrot that retails for about 120 pound there's a metal metal disc that i found the other day that's in my finds pouch i've just been testing it and the garrett carrot picks it up about there where that little bit of straw is as so let's see what the kawits does it's about half a centimeter difference before it picks it up and on the meter it's only on one bar because it's far away from it if i pull it back you can even it is it literally is half a centimeter more uh less sensitive than the carrot that's the kuwaits and the carrot is about there and this is how the meter works when you get closer you get more bars it vibrates it's got um a light on it there it has three sensitivity settings on that button This one is just the on off. You have to hold it in for about five seconds, if that, and then it comes on. Very straightforward. And the problem with these real budget pinpointers that you can get from anywhere from like even £10 these days, in the hand, a lot of them, you know, they feel like a toy. This one doesn't. Let me just compare it. I know you can't feel it in the hand while I'm doing it, but let me just be totally honest with you. That's solid. Feels like a brick. 120, 125 pound. That one, not quite as solid, but certainly doesn't feel like a toy. I'll go so far as to say this Kuwait's pointer is ideal absolutely ideal for anybody looking for a budget pointer it really is and it's waterproof with it being waterproof where a lot of pointers will fail even expensive ones is where the seals are one sec so this one it just comes off like that and it hasn't got a screw thread it just goes in there like that like so and then you turn it which you can't do with one hand but you get me and it really feels like a tight seal it does honestly for 40 pound certainly worth every penny of that to come out in the field with it and uh i would i haven't put loads of hours on it i'll be totally honest with you i haven't used it i'm just looking at it for this video 
So with what I know about it up to now, I would uh, give my word that it's an ideal pinpointer for anyone on a budget, 40 pound to come out and use out in the field, in the rain, in puddles. I can't tell you how good the rubber gasket seal, well, the gasket seal is on this, whether you want to take it diving or anything, but for 40 pound, I don't think you'll go far wrong using it as, a, as your main pinpointer out in the field. I'm not gaining anything by this, uh, taking a look at these uh, pinpointers. Jane asked me if I would look at them. I am very wary of uh, plugging any products these days because I just can't be bothered. I like doing and detecting. But I am getting some pinpointers together and detectors all the equipment to um, teach some Boy Scouts in September when the crops come off. And so I asked Jane to send me two of these towards teaching the Boy Scouts and she has. Uh, if they were rubbish, I'd have just sent them back to her. I think with my initial look, these are an excellent buy for £40 for anybody on a budget who wants to come out rain or shine. Will you be able to take them regularly 10 foot under the water day in, day out for £40? Go and try one yourself and get back to me. Well, the sun is not in the sky anymore. That is the moon. That's what remains of the sun. It's nearly 10 p.m. I forgot to tell you about the uh, Kawits pointer. Uh, if you drop it in the field, after 10 minutes, it will uh, start sounding off. So if you realise and you come back and you start looking for it, it will be beeping. So that's, that's one thing you can test at least. I'll, t I'll leave it there for 10 minutes while I, um, yes, I'll just chill and see if it starts beeping. All right. Let's see if it gives me a shout in 10 minutes. I'm getting bored waiting round, but you know, it's only been about two minutes, but we'll give it a bit of, see if, see if it likes a bit of water. Well, the light's still on anyway. Let's see if it beeps in about eight minutes, so. I want to uh, test it in my spade, see if it beeps, but then I'll reset the 10 minute timer. But it's got the light on there, look. It's got the light on. So, uh, it's obviously uh, still functioning. It's going off now. I think it's picking my car up though. Yeah, it still works though. Not bad, eh? Kawit's 40 pound pinpointer. Told you it wasn't a toy. Thanks, Jane.